Hi guys, Korean Movie Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2017 Korean action crime movie, called The Outlaws. This movie tells the true story of the Hugh Saper incident in Garibong, Seoul, in 2004. A turf war broke out between the local gangs that run the district, and the Chinese Hugh Saper gang. So, what sparks the fight between them? How will the police solve the incident? Let's find it out. Since 1990s, Chinese Koreans have settled in Garibong district in Seoul and formed a Chinatown. A lot of gangs of varying sizes have been active ever since. In 2004, the Seoul police did a Chinese Korean gang mop-up operation to tackle the problems. Subdo is a feared police even among the gangsters. As a police officer in the notorious district, he has to keep an eye on the two biggest gangs which are led by Venom and Yisu. Despite their size, the two gangs are afraid of Subdo and don't engage in thugs' war, but are more focused on their businesses. One day, three Chinese loan sharks come to the district to collect 30 million won of debt from Venom's underling. Their cruel methods in collecting the debt reaches Venom and he personally confronts them. Despite his show of power, the Chinese are not afraid at all. They simultaneously stab him over and over, until he dies. Meanwhile, Sukdo is called to a crime scene in a karaoke bar, where the manager's arm has been cut off with an axe by the Chinese. Due to the case, the Chinese are on Sukdo's watch list. On the other hand, the Chinese are looking for a way to earn money by taking over the district and extorting the people. They ask Venom's underling to help them commence the plan since they are still new to the area. After some time, Sukdo learns about Venom's death from his two informants. The Chinese keep on piling up Sukdo's workload as they commit crimes continuously. This time, a victim is found dismembered with body parts stored in some bags. Meanwhile, the Chinese are carrying out their plan. They start by trapping Yisu and chase his gang away. Then, they start to collect illegal fees from the businesses in the area. Despite their success due to help from Venom's underling, the Chinese leader still forces and takes advantage of his wife. After some time, Sukdo and his colleagues meet the Chinese for the first time. They devise a plan to capture them and prepare themselves. However, the Chinese also suspect them since the police officers keep on staring at them. And so a fight breaks out in the room. The Chinese utilize the commotion and successfully get away. Meanwhile, Wang who owns the karaoke bar from earlier, captures Venom's underling who helps the Chinese. Huang tortures him to get information regarding the Chinese, to plan his revenge. After being tortured several times, the underling caves in and decides to help Huang in destroying the Chinese. At one point, Yisa's gang attack the two Chinese gang members. And so, a fight breaks out between the two gangs. However, Sukdo arrives and breaks up the fight. Yisa's gang is expelled by Sukdo, leaving the police officers and the Chinese, and the second fight breaks out. Sukdo engages one of the Chinese, while his two juniors fight the other one. The battle is fierce and tense, as the two opposing sides overpowers one another alternately. Sukdo is punched several times, however he succeeds in taking down one of them. Meanwhile, the other Chinese is able to get away and informs their leader of the situation. The captured one is brought to the police station, to be interrogated. Despite the numerous methods used, he doesn't break and even tries to kill himself. Meanwhile, Yisu is celebrating his mother's birthday. Suddenly, the Chinese come in and attack the place. Another fight between the two gangs breaks out amidst the fog. Unfortunately, Yisu is killed by the Chinese leader that day. After some investigation, the police have identified the three Chinese gang members. They are called the Black Dragon Gang who are also on China's most wanted list. The gang is led by Jiang Chen, the captured member is Sung Ruk, while the other one is Yang Te. On the other hand, the Black Dragon Gang is hired by a businessman to annihilate the Huang Gang who have been loitering in their properties. They will be rewarded 1 million won if they succeed in expelling Huang's men. However, Huang's underlings suddenly attack the place with the help of their new allies' information. In addition, he pretends to be Jiang Chen's underling and flees with them in a car, to take them out by surprise. However, he is overpowered and killed when trying to do so. 
Sukdo, who grew more concerned about his jurisdiction, gathers the people to cooperate. They are asked to help the police in identifying the Black Dragon Gang which already has 30 members. After the meeting, the police receives a lot of footage and reports regarding the Chinese gang's extortion. A pattern will be identified from the data, and will be used to devise a plan in capturing them. Furthermore, the footage will also be used as evidence on their crime. Meanwhile, the captured Black Dragon Gang member, Sung Ruk, is picked up by the Chinese police to be tried in China. On their way, Sung Ruk realizes that the two police officers are corrupt. They are looking to distribute their drugs in Korea, but are having trouble due to limited access. Sung Ruk utilizes the condition and offers them cooperation with the Black Dragon Gang. Sung Ruk succeeds in convincing them and he is freed in exchange for his cooperation. Turns out, the two Chinese police officers are Sukdos informants whom he hired to fool and trap Sung Ruk and his gang. After some preparation, the fateful night arrives. The Black Dragon will meet the two informants in a karaoke bar under the pretense of discussing their drug distribution. Meanwhile, the police have surrounded the place to capture them. When the Black Dragon enters the room, the police join and another fight breaks out. Sukdo successfully captures Sung Ruk, but realizes that Jiang Chen is not present. Turns out, Jiang Chen and the rest of the gang members are going to Huang's karaoke. He is trying to chase Huang out, to complete his mission. Huang runs away as his men fall one by one. However, Jiang Chen manages to catch up to him and stabs him in the back. Despite the pinch, Huang is saved by securities who are present. One of Sukdo's men secretly follows him and informs Sukdo of the fugitive's whereabouts. He flees to one of his hideouts and meets with the other Chinese, Yang Te. Sukdo rushes to the place after getting the information. Jiang Chen who realizes that he is being followed, tries to hit the stalker with his car. Luckily, Sukdo comes to the rescue and confronts him. Yang Te is disabled successfully, however Jiang Chen manages to run away. The police spread out to look for him, but cannot pinpoint his location. As Sukdo searches the area, he sees a messy store and decides to investigate. Unfortunately, he is already too late. One of the victims wakes up and informs him of Jiang Chen's whereabouts, which he overheard from his calls. Meanwhile, the businessman meets Jiang Chen and rewards him for annihilating Huang. Then, he immediately goes to the airport to flee from Sukdo and fly to China. Before departing, he goes to a restroom to wash away the blood from his body. Unbeknownst to him, Sukdo has been waiting for him there. Turns out, Sukdo knew Jiang Chen's location from Huang who had captured the businessman's underling. Finally, a decisive battle begins. The fight is fierce and tense as they repeatedly take turns in taking over the situation. Sukdo throws Jiang Chen several times, but he keeps on getting up. Until one time, Sukdo breaks Jiang Chen hand rendering him helpless as he writhes in pain. In the end, all 30 of the Black Dragon members are successfully held captive by the Korean police. Sukdo and his men enjoy their winning cheerfully in the new peaceful city. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.